Hey Capricorns, what's up? Aloha, this is your girl Miss Hawaii here coming at you to give you your general love reading, okay? I hope all is well with my Cappies. All right, I'm sending you all blessings through the phones, through the computers, and this crazy ass time that we're having. Love you guys so much. So a couple of things. Um, I'm looking at this makeup and it looks a little bit darker. It's so funny because it's like, <laughs> The makeup artist in Sephora told me that all the girls are like, they're always trying to get their makeup lighter. But for me, I like my makeup darker. I don't like to look all like I'm Michael Jackson. That's not cute. I'm sorry. I do not like that complexion. I'm sorry. I like to have some color to my skin. So I sometimes go a little bit darker, but I'm looking at this. I think I'm going to go a little bit lighter. My skin is also weird though. Like I have certain sections where it's light and in certain sections where it'll be dark. It's like I can wear one foundation on one section of my face and then a whole other section of my face, I'll be like five foundations lighter or darker. It's like, what the hell? I don't know. But anyway, enough about me. I love you guys. I hope all is well with you. Okay? This is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single person out there. Um, if, re if it resonates with you, great. That's perfect. Um, if it does, don't forget to leave me a comment if you feel comfortable. Or like the video and subscribe. Show your girl some love. All right? Because I do this strictly for you guys, Caps. All right? Also, personal readings. A lot of people have been asking me about personal readings. To inquire about a personal reading, I say it before every video, you have to email me at MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. Okay? Don't leave me a comment asking me how do you inquire about a personal reading. I've been saying it before every single reading. You have to email me at MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com and then we'll discuss it and we'll set it up and I'll tell you the price and everything like that. Okay? So, energies could always be reversed. Just so everybody know, welcome new people that are watching. If it's your first time here, welcome to the new subscribers, new viewers. Thank you for being here. I'm a different type of tarot reader. I'm real. I usually have music playing in the background, but I don't have music today. And um, this is a positive only zone. No drama. Don't come on here like somebody made a comment talking about, oh, your background is distracting. I don't know why y'all keep making comments about my background. I'm not changing it. This is the second idiot that's made a comment about my background. You do realize this is my channel, right? Not yours. <laughs> you do know that, right? Oh, okay. I just thought maybe, you know, maybe you forgot for a minute. I'm not changing my background. I'm not changing anything about myself. Leave me the fuck alone. Go watch another tower reader. I'm not going to leave you a comment telling you to change who you are. People are so fucking stupid. Like, y'all don't have nothing else better to do. You're getting a free tower reading about your fucked up love life, and now you want to tell me that I shouldn't be having, um, why do I, my, my background is a distraction. You're an idiot. Point blank, period. <laughs> anyway, caps, positivity only. Because we want blessings to flow to us, right? How are my Capricorns feeling in love? Let's see, Capricorns. How are you guys feeling? What's coming to y'all in love? What's going on in y'all love life? Show me Cappies. Show me Caps. Okay, that kind of came out a little bit. The Emperor in reverse. Ooh, okay. Some of y'all dealing with a father. Father figure or an Aries. Somebody possibly that's controlling. That's not for everybody. Let's see if it comes out in the foundation spread, okay? Ooh, page of cups in reverse. Who's that? Somebody very immature that you got fire with. Seeing passion here. Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But page of cups in reverse, that's somebody that got childhood issues sometimes. Or somebody that's just very immature. Or somebody that's very promiscuous somebody that's um possibly you know um lacking emotional immaturity like this is my child card right here could also mean bad news like news like somebody don't have the same feelings for you eight of wands just tried to pop out in reverse okay no action nothing moving right now what the fuck show me how else capricorn is feeling in love oh king of swords in reverse Ugh, who's that somebody that's making you very unhappy with the nine of cups in reverse. Somebody that's making you very unhappy. 
Okay, it could be that you're not they're not communicating efficiently with you. They're not communicating, you know, it's not flowing properly. The communication with you and this person, it could be. Um, I don't have any water over here. No, it could be um, this person is being cold to you because the King of Swords in reverse. He could be a, to the extreme. He could be a nasty motherfucker, cold, nasty with his mouth, nasty with his words. Um, you know, kind of ignoring you and shit like that you know what i mean ruthless to the extreme okay and like i said to the less extreme maybe possibly somebody that's not talking to you okay somebody that's not communicating like letting the communication flow properly between the two of you especially with the eight of wands card here in reverse because that's a my communication card fast action moving you know what i mean they call that cupid's arrows but it's in reverse and then you got the page of cups in reverse so either somebody got you feeling like the page of cups in reverse emotionally unstable or you feel like the feelings are not reciprocal or they're not doing what they're supposed to do in this connection how else is um capricorn feeling in love oh my god ace of cups in reverse y'all not giving y'all love out to nobody right now with that cup in reverse that's either see with the page of cups and the ace of cups in reverse higher offense some of y'all this is a breakup some of y'all, this is somebody possibly that ended things with you. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A lot of emotions here. But I see this is possibly an unrequited love or a situation where either you're giving, you were, I feel like you were giving more to this emotionally. Okay? Some of y'all are feeling a little down because the Ace of Cups in reverse could mean sadness as well. Okay? But the Hierophant is here in reverse. This is Taurus energy. So either some of y'all broke off a marriage, commitment, you know what I mean? There was a separation here. Definitely some type of separation here. This also could mean a non-traditional relationship. So this could possibly mean somebody that, you know, doesn't want to get married. Or maybe somebody that is married already. All right? That you're messing with. Let's see. How was this Capricorn feeling in love? Oh, Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. More Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy with the two. All right, so this person that y'all dealing with, some of y'all are dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. This Knight of Swords is somebody that is um, fast moving. They be all over the place. Some of y'all, this person doesn't really know how to juggle, like a relationship, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. But it's the two of Pentacles in reverse. So that's somebody that don't know how to really handle their life, like juggle life, like work job you know work uh family uh, fa uh, uh school uh whatever business you know what i mean they can't kids like they can't keep everything together i feel like this person be moving a lot because the knight of swords don't sit his ass down and he damn sure don't like to be committed he damn sure don't want no relationship the four of pentacles in reverse with the world in reverse okay so there's some type of cycle here that's not closed out for y'all capricorn and i feel like it has to do with you letting go of things that no longer serve you okay this is towards virgo capricorn energy right here my four pentacles in reverse is knowing how to let go of things people possessions even even bad feelings being able to just let that go okay and I feel like that's what needs to happen for you to complete this cycle with the world in reverse. You feel like something's missing here. Oh, that page of wands just flipped the fuck out. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of y'all, this is somebody else coming in here. They're a little bit younger. Okay, fire, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't know if they're going to put in the work towards this connection. With the, with the page, first of all, page of wands, that's very young energy. Very young energy, you know what I mean? Fiery energy, you know, passionate. But it could often mean like a short-time fling, like a short-term fling. Some, you know, fire and passionate, but sizzling out quickly. Okay? And then with the eight of pentacles in reverse, I don't know if they're really going to put in the work towards this. Whoever this page of wands is. Could be the same person, but I feel like that's two different energies. I feel like the page of wands might be somebody new coming into y'all because that's about like a romantic message um somebody new you know fiery usually an incoming 
Oh my God, Knight of Cups in reverse. You got all the Cups cards in reverse. With the Eight of Cups in reverse. It's something here you cannot walk away from, Cap. With the Seven of Swords, somebody being deceptive here. Some little sneakiness going on. But I feel like you cannot walk away with the Eight of Cups in reverse. But all your Cups cards are reversed. The Page of Cups is reversed. The Ace of Cups is reversed. The Knight of Cups is reversed. I feel like these are your emotions. But these aren't good emotions. They're all reversed. So either somebody's rejecting you or rejecting your feelings here. Okay? Or it's making you feel... Let's see. I'm going to clarify these cards. And then I'll get into their energy. Because this is juicy. Hey, princess. Show me the page of cups in reverse. Show me the page of cups in reverse. Let's see what the fuck is going on here. The three, the two of wands in reverse. Oh. Yeah, you realize it ain't going nowhere. The tower in reverse. But you're resisting change. It's a Scorpio energy here. Some of y'all are dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But I feel like whatever this, 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 this energy is, this childlike energy here, two of wands in reverse, it ain't going nowhere. This is my card of it ain't going nowhere. This person is stagnation. They're not moving forward. You know what I mean? I feel like you're resisting change with the tower card. Show me the eight of wands in reverse. And that popped out. The king of swords. So ain't nothing moving right now. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Okay, with the five of swords in reverse. Could have been something that happened here where you, I feel like you want to keep the peace here with this situation. I feel like you want to keep the peace here. I feel like this person is very intellectual. Like they think, they don't really think with their heart. This person thinks with their mind. They're very rational, very logical, but sometimes a little bit too much. Okay, show me the king of swords in reverse. Some of y'all definitely dealing with an Aquarius. This person is stern. Mm. Maybe that's why we saw that emperor in reverse pop out in the beginning. The three of wands in reverse. Like both cards about like the three of wands and the two of wands in reverse. There's two cards about not moving forward. Eight of Wands in reverse from another tarot deck. It ain't going nowhere. Whatever this is, it ain't going nowhere, Cap. And you know it. And I feel like this person is stern. Look at this King of Swords in here. He's like, I ain't fucking moving. Like, he got his arms crossed. Like, this person ain't no joke you're dealing with. They very cold. Show me the Ace of Cups in reverse. Page of Pentacles in reverse with the Justice card. It ain't it ain't even fairness up in here. Some of y'all dealing with a Libra, but the the page here we go. More page energy, more page energy, more kid energy. We don't need kids. We need a king or a queen or an emperor or empress. We don't need no page, and it's in reverse. This person ain't focused on love. They're not focusing enough on this connection. You put your heart into it, Capricorn. You put your heart into it with that Ace of Cups. They're not. They didn't. You can feel it, that it's a distraction here. Show me the Knight of Swords. Got the Eight of Wands in reverse from two different tarot decks. Something ain't moving. Something ain't taking off. The Ten of Swords. This person is a motherfucker. This person hurt you and was testing your strength. With the Ten of Swords, there was betrayal here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Oh, yeah. Backstabbing here on top of that Knight of Swords. That person hurt you. And there was an ending. That's a painful ending. 
with the strength card in reverse here. Some of y'all dealing with a Leo. Okay, but this person really made you feel weak. They broke you down, Cap. They really made you feel weak with that strength card in reverse. Some of y'all, y'all leave in depression with the strength card in reverse. That can indicate depression. Absolutely. That's how sad or weak you felt. This person, whatever they put you through was fucked up. Show me the four of pentacles in reverse. The page of cups again in reverse. Yeah, you have to let this motherfucker go. Eight of wands in reverse again. Because ain't nothing moving. You had to let this motherfucker go. You got the page of cups twice in reverse. They testing your emotions. Some of y'all, this person is a fucking... Um, Seductor or seductress. That page of cups in reverse can mean somebody that don't know how to keep their they fucking pants on. Somebody that's just so emotionally attached. They think they're so emotionally attached to people. Like, but it's all fake. Like, you know what I mean? And then they get sex or whatever. And then it's like, on to the next one. It's like, you're emotionally... Some, like I said, some of y'all, this person got childhood issues. This stems way back to before you. They fucked up in the head. They got issues. It ain't you. Show me the page of wands. I have a family member that's like that. It's like he's fucked up in the head. It's like, you know what I mean? He don't even mean it. Like, but it's like he has to fuck everybody. And it's like, why do you have to do that? Like, something is wrong with you. You know what I mean? And it's something from childhood with him. You know? So that's what I'm saying. It could be the case for some of you, not everybody. That could be the case with this person. And I see them as being very manipulative. Very manipulative with this magician card. Okay? I need you to stay confident with this queen of wands in reverse. Okay? I need you to stay confident. Okay? This also could mean that you're manifesting right now. You're manifesting things or you're very powerful. You have willpower. I need you to focus on that. Show me the Knight of Cups in reverse. This motherfucker. Ace of Cups in reverse again. With the Knight of Cups again in reverse. This person is not giving you love at all. They are fucked. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. They're not fucked up. I'm, God forgive me. I don't mean it in that way. I mean it in the way like <clears throat> they are all their, all the emotion cups are reversed, which means this person is not, it's something emotionally with them that they can't let love flow. It's not you. Okay. This could be somebody that's manipulative. This could be somebody, but I'm seeing here, I feel like you gave your cup of love. This person could also just be focusing on loving themselves. Mm, that's some crazy energy right there, cat. Let me get there and I'm pulling their cards. This shit I want to see for sure. For sure. Give me the T, sis. Give me the T, sis. Let's see. How does this person fill towards Capricorn. Let's see how many cups cards are going to come out in reverse. How does this person feel towards Capricorn? How do they actually feel towards Capricorn? Show us spirit. How do they feel towards Capricorn? see cat I didn't like what I was seeing in your shit oh the knight of cups upright oh <laughs> this person is a romantic motherfucker they got a romanticism to them mm -hmm. what's up mama what I'm doing a reading you have to be respectful 
So, ooh, some of y'all dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This person feels like they got a lot of options. They got a lot of options. They stupid don't, don't realize that <laughs> mostly all them options is poisonous. You know what I mean? Just because you got a lot of options don't mean all of them are good. You know what I mean? That don't mean shit. You can have a bunch of snakes and you know what I mean? But this person is very, um, I see them coming, they might be coming forward towards you. I feel like they're very romantic, very moment romantic. See, they're seeing themselves upright. You seeing them in reverse. So I feel like temperance in reverse. Oh, wow. Okay. Sagittarius energy. Person is very imbalanced. Ace of swords. Hmm. communication temperance and reverse commune addictions it could mean an imbalance between the two of you but they are all over the place I told you with the temperance and reverse they have a lot of issues the hermit okay so maybe this person right now Virgo energy six of cups in reverse so there's either somebody around them here that's older, that's like trying to guide them and show them Virgo energy from their past here. Somebody that helps them. Some of y'all, um, somebody older that tries to like guide them and help them spiritually. I'm seeing, um, if not, that could be them. Maybe they're going through a spiritual transformation at the moment. They're trying to become enlightened, the self introspection. Let's see the tower in reverse. Ooh. Oh, shit. Resisting change. Seven of Cups here. Again. Options. 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 How else does this person feel towards Capricorn? The Devil in Reverse. Okay. With the Ace of Swords again. Okay. That's Capricorn energy right there. That's trying to let go of toxicity. So maybe this person is trying. Let's see. Maybe they are trying here. The Empress in reverse. Who's that? Older energy. Older woman energy with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. We're going to see if this is you. I'm not sure if this is you or not, Cap. Doesn't have to be woman or male. Um, but it's just an older energy that's possibly trying to... Ten of Pentacles. Fuck up the home. Somebody, maybe his this person's mother, his or her mother, probably don't like you or is nasty. Two of Swords. This person got a lot of shit they got to try to figure out. With the Hermit and the Two of Swords, King of Wands. Yeah, they need to find, they trying to find direction right now in their life. Their energy is not bad. Like, you saw them like... they. You know, but there when I'm looking at their cards, it's not bad. It's just this person got a lot of shit going on right now. And they have a lot of shit that's happened to them in their past. They need a lot of guidance. Nine of Wands in reverse. You see? They're very scared. King of Pentacles. Okay? So at the bottom of the deck here. So this person does at the end of the day want something stable, I feel like. I just feel like they have to like get there. Like I feel like they're a little guarded with that nine of wands. Like They don't want to like keep fighting. Didn't I say some of y'all just had to do with childhood issues? Some of y'all with that empress in reverse, they got a nasty mother. I told y'all that. Some of y'all, not everybody. That might be the way they see you, but we're going to see. Show me the Knight of Cups. Show me the Knight of Cups. The Seven of Cups in reverse. With the Two of Cups in reverse. Ooh. Okay. So they feel like you and you guys are a little disconnected at the moment. There's either a separation here or there was a breakup or something like that with the two of cups or there's just some type of imbalance again with the temperance card between the two of you show me the temperance card in reverse it could be that they want to make you an offer because they feel bad for some of you if you broke up like they really thought about it let's see 
okay, the page of swords in reverse. So this person is watching you, keeping an eye on you, the high priestess. Some of y'all can feel that intuitively, that they're kind of around watching you, lurking. Um, especially if you're not talking to them. If you're not talking to this person, I feel like it's driving them crazy with the temperance in reverse. Show me the hermit card. I mean, look at all this major arcana. The magician in reverse. Ooh. Ooh. With the ten of swords in reverse. Some of y'all, this person got a, they are a magician. You hear me? They know how to fucking hypnotize your ass. Good with their words, you know what I mean? Because they're like kind of spiritual, like the way they talk. Some of y'all, this person is very like charming, okay? And that's how they could kind of lure people in. Ten of swords in reverse. This breakup or whatever separation between you two or betrayal here caused you or somebody to go into hermit mode because they was manipulative. Show me the tower card. Show me the tower in reverse. Ooh, show me the tower in reverse. The six of cups with the five of wands in reverse. Six of cups with the tower in reverse. Some of y'all, this got something to do with family, kids, children with the six of cups. Or this could be things from the past. Resisting something here from the past. Show me the devil in reverse show me the devil in reverse that's your card right there show me the devil in reverse oh shit the devil oh shit with the six of wands in reverse yo Y'all got some addiction. This nigga is a... Oh, excuse my language. I'm sorry. This person is a... I feel that they have... Some of you, they're a little weak, okay? Because my devil card is about... Oof. Double Capricorn right there. They feeling you. Feeling your energy, but... With this devil up, reverse, and... <laughs> Come on, cap. With this devil reverse, upright, and reverse, I feel like this person is really battling, like, something here. Like, something that makes them feel bound, chained, okay? This is usually, like, about sexual pleasures, hedonism, lust, you know what I mean? It's something here in this person. There, I feel like they're trying to release the toxicity, but the toxicity just keeps coming back with the devil card. They got the devil card reversed and upright. I mean, and the six of wands in reverse. This is about failure or a lack of achievement. Show me the empress in reverse. Show me the empress in reverse. That is crazy about that devil card, yo. Yo, all these cards just tried to fucking pop out. The devil fucking card fucking popped out twice. That's crazy to clarify itself. That's how you know spirit is here. Like, that's why I be like, when I be doing readings, like when shit like that happen, I'm like, yo, people who don't believe, they crazy. Because what are the chances that the same card is gonna come out? That is not a coincidence. Show me the Empress in reverse. It's not. I'm sorry. 78 cards in each deck. Mm -mm. The chances are in a billion. That's a message. Show me the Empress in reverse. Oh, this is somebody that broke their heart. This Empress, this mother energy, two of cups again in reverse. Is this you? They feel heartbroken over this. Three of swords. This is betrayal. Sadness, grief, sorrow, disappointment, pain. Show me the two of swords. This person is sad. This person is grieving. Judgment. They're thinking about things from the past. This is a rebirth. I told y'all this person is trying to be a new person. I feel like they are. 
but it's hard for them. Two of Wands, you see? They're trying. You saw it in reverse, but I feel like they're trying to plan for the future, trying to think bigger, be more mature about this situation, and just in general. They're trying with the Judgment card. Show me the Nine of Wands in reverse. That's you, um, Capricorn, that King of Pentacles on the bottom of that deck. So they see you as stable and grounded. Very, very independent. Somebody making a money. The Seven of Swords in reverse with the Eight of Wands. This person going to end up sending y'all a message. Capricorn, so get ready. And it may be a message saying, I'm sorry, but they don't know how to come. They scared. They scared. Because they don't know. They seen you as the Empress in reverse. So either if that's not your energy, that's the energy of some older, somebody here, an older woman, older male energy, somebody here that's giving them shit, that's getting on their nerves, either a mother, it could be a mother, it could be a father, it could be an older woman, older male, um, or it could be your energy if, you know, you have kids with them. Because this is the Empress normally like mother energy. You know what I mean? So, and it's a three of swords. So somebody here broke their heart. If this could be somebody maybe they was with before, maybe it could be why they're like this. It could be this person. Maybe they have kids with this person. Okay. Some type of mother energy here that broke their heart, that was nasty, reckless to them. And then I'm seeing here, they want to apologize to you about something. Seven of Swords, something is on their conscience right here. Okay. Something they want to confess. But I feel like they're too scared to come forward with the Nine of Wands in reverse. But I see them, they're going to end up sending you a message. Yeah, see, Three of Cups is here, too, on the bottom of this deck. And the Page of Cups, yeah. They're coming through. They're going to send you a message. They're going to send you a message. If there's been conflict or whatever, Five of Wands in reverse, I see them coming out of that with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to talk to you. And it's funny because you were getting all these cards in reverse. They're getting them all upright. So all these Cups energy, they're very emotional. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I see this person, I, like I said to you, Cat, this person I feel like is trying. I feel like they're really trying. Two of Wands again. You know what I mean? They're trying. I feel like this person is weak though. I feel well, not weak, because I didn't see the strength card in reverse, but I feel like it's like I told you, it might be something from their past here that fucked them up. You know what I mean? That have them helps them struggle. I told y'all I'm seeing like an older energy for some of y'all, somebody here um that's helping them guide them. Maybe somebody could be a family member, who knows? Somebody that's older, that's very wise, that kind of guides them and helps them and tries to help their help them with their um, you know, their abilities, their power. You know what I mean? How to how to move forward in life. Okay? Or that could be them, their own energy. Maybe they maybe they're the hermit. Maybe they're the ones going into solitude, you know what I mean, trying to get self-introspection. You know what I mean? But with the devil in reverse, the devil, it's like toxicity there. And this person is trying to let it go. They are. They are. And I feel like this person may be kind of addicted to you with the devil card. That's about addiction. Okay? And we see temperance here in reverse. And I told you, they watching you. You know what I mean? But I feel like this person got to get their emotions together. I don't think they're giving you their whole heart. They're not giving you everything. All their cups were emo reversed. So there's some type of emotional imbalance between the two of you. Okay, but on their end, they're coming through like upright. <laughs> you know what I mean? So very, very, very strange. But seven of swords in reverse, that's definitely, um, you know, having a, you know, thinking about something, something possibly that happened, feeling bad about some type of trickery, deception, some type of underhanded behavior possibly. And we did see the seven of swords in your spread. Okay, in the bottom of the deck. So there was something here. And we saw the ten of swords in yours too. Okay, so that's your reading, Capricorn. I love you guys so much. Let me go feed this cat. Um, please let me know if this resonated. And don't forget to keep me updated. Don't forget to like the video if it did resonate. And leave me a comment. All right, guys? Yeah, nine of swords. This person is thinking about this nonstop. Nonstop, y'all. Nonstop. All right, I love you guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. All right, and I love you again, again, again. Mm -hmm. Bye.